Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, one of the things that was asked about my talk about solar flux and um, the solar activity and the relation to propagation and radio signals. So we talked about how a higher solar flux uh, will, of course, impact the higher frequencies. Uh, solar flux now 165, which is pretty good. Um, what does it do for the lower frequencies, say a medium wave or long wave DXer? Um, what impact does solar activity have on the lower frequencies? So the lower end frequency you go, the least of an effect usually solar flux has because um, it propagates into a, um, these frequencies propagate, you know, off through the ionosphere in some ways, but a lot of it is also ground wave, but um, on the lowest parts of the ionosphere. And what happens is that when the uh, ionosphere combines at night, of course, that's where you notice that medium wave signals go far away. Uh, what is more of an impact is not necessarily the solar flux. Um, higher solar activity will not change in much of the propagation below 3,000 kilohertz or, you know, medium wave and long wave. But there will be something else that will actually come with it that might be a problem. Is the higher the solar flux, which usually means the more active the sun is, would also in turn mean we might have more uh, geomagnetic activity. We might have more solar flares. And that will impact medium wave and long wave because when we start having geomagnetic unsettled conditions or geomagnetic storming, we get a lot more absorption in the ionosphere. And very, very often that kind of kills medium wave, long wave for the most part. Now, there might be some unusual effect to it, but that will be the negative side of having higher solar activity. That's why a lot of DXers of medium wave, long wave will say, you know, I'm okay with solar minimum because solar minimum is usually much more quiet. We have less chance of having geomagnetic storms and, you know, solar flares, things that might impact the uh, DXing of the long wave, medium wave bands. And also, of course, the, mo the medium wave, long wave bands have more um, changes due to very long nights of winter compared to uh, other frequencies uh, at some point. So um, what happens is that if you DX medium wave, long wave, you'll prefer winter because a lot more nighttime means really good conditions, usually for the low, low frequencies. But of course, like I just said, the increased activity of the sun impacts it in a negative way if it also means we have more frequent geomagnetic storms or unsettled conditions. But still, it's interesting to listen to. Um, I've uh, seen um, a couple of reports uh, in the past of, for example, geomagnetic storming happening, which kind of blocks out the standard medium wave we hear usually. But some stations from Central South America might come into North America easily because the other stations are kind of suppressed. So, you know, any type of conditions is worth at least having a band scan because you could be surprised what's going to happen. But the lower the um, frequency you're actually listening to, the less impact the solar flux has on that band. It's really, really impacting much more higher frequencies and shortwave frequencies. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.